Hello friends, myself Anil Kumar Singh. In this video, I will explain how to compute power spectral density of noisy signal in MATLAB. First open the MATLAB tool, just right click and open. MATLAB user interface open is open. Okay, I have already uh, I have already coded power spectral density computers as a noisy signal. See, this is the code for computer uh, computing the power spectral density. Okay, so I'll explain all the codes line by line. Okay, first section is command to uh, clear the workspace and command window. Second, uh, second section, define the parameters, this section is nothing but parameters, parameters defi defining the parameter here which is used for signal generation and FFT and power spectral density and this section is sinusoidal signal generation noisy signal generation noisy signal generation okay see here I have, I have generated the sinusoidal signal and I have added the random noise to this sinusoidal signal to generate the noisy signal this yt is nothing but noisy signal okay then compute the Fourier transform okay in Fourier transform input is yt, yt is nothing but noisy signal and fft point I have taken 1024 and compute the fft, ok. In next section I have computed the power spectral density. In this way we can also compute the power spectral density or just comment it. This is the power spectral density calculation. See, this is the section for computing the power spectral density. This is the section for converting time domain data to frequency domain data by performing the FFT then do the power spectral density calculation this is the section ok in this section I have, uh, I have how to compute power spectral density just uh, squaring the real data this is real into real plus a square of imaginary data it means imaginary into imaginary ok and add them to and assign to PSD that is nothing but power spectral density then do the logarithmic it means convert this linear data to uh, log data ok then plot it we can see we can see the waveform by simulating this code just click on run change the folder and we will see the all the figures here I have generated three figures just I am rearranging I will show each and every figure one by one ok See, 
this is the timed noisy signal and uh, this one is noisy signal which x axis is time in second and y axis is amplitude in linear value this one is a spectrum of this noisy signal so a spectrum look like this there are one sinusoidal signal along with random noise so sinusoidal signal having frequency having frequency is 50 hertz see x axis is in hertz and y axis is magnitude in linear value okay so we can clearly see the frequency of this signal is 50 hertz and whatever this fluctuation that is a spectrum data of this noisy random noise so in this way we can see the spectrum of noisy signal then compute the power spectral density and also do the uh, convert the this linear scale to logarithmic scale by taking the log 10 10 log base 10 of this fft data okay okay so this is the power spectral density in this figure x axis is frequency and y axis is power spectral density in dvm not in linear data this is dvm data it means logarithmic data and i have a, i have titled as power spectral density of noisy signal so here you can see this is the 50 hertz signal along with this 50 hertz signal these are the uh, spectra uh, noisy signal no, these are the uh, spectrum of random noise okay in this way we can compute power spectral density of noisy signal thank you so much for watching my video